Welcome to August, pick your path. My name is Genesee and this month's mantra is, you want me to do what? <laughs> so join me and let's get right in so that you can discover what path you're walking this manifestation month of August. Welcome to August and this is a month of manifestation. We have had the summer break and it is over. The break is over, the energy is back. You should start feeling things energized, charged in a good way, moving forward. Life should be continuing, pushing you forward. All of the energy is here, but the um, the big choices that we've had and the big things that we've had to learn throughout basically um, January up into this point, but really crucially since everything slowed down in our world around March, um, everything that you've been faced with is really identifying who you are and what you're gonna be carrying forward. And so the big, big, big overriding kind of principle of where we are right now as things speed up and as we start to actually manifest the steps, the foundation, the stability into our life that's gonna support us over this next huge 30 year, if not longer cycle, um, is that everything we have aligned to, everything we've discovered about ourselves, everything that has changed, is now getting called into action. It's now coming up. We're coming face to face with our old self and we're having to choose without all the time knowing what we're choosing, simply having to trust that what we're choosing is our highest truth moving forward. And so that's the energy and the mantra of, so you're asking me to do what? <laughs> because as we move and as we build this new reality for ourselves, we're really coming up against the rock in a hard place. It's seeing our old self reflected in a lot of these things and choices we might have to make moving forward. And we're really having to make the right choice and we're having to make the right choice per who we've discovered ourselves to be on the inside, what we've aligned ourselves to our highest truth. And now we're having to stare old self and new self in the face with seeing not the differences between the two paths, but really getting confused a lot of the time here and having to feel into, is this old pattern me? Is this new future me? And then trying to make the best decision in the moment. So hopefully this August, we can clue you in to some of the um, opportunities, some of the possible pitfalls that might come up along your way. And that's why I have you pick a path. So basically how this works, step one is we're going to review the two paths, the red path and the blue path. Which path are you walking? And what's the difference? Why do we do it this way? It's really to get you very hyper-focused on some of the really big collective energies that all of us are experiencing right now. And it's funneling it down into a very precise set of what I call imprints or energetic um, identities that you might get either trapped in or be fueled by in order to make the best choices to again align to your highest truth this month. And so what I do is I separate these energies into the red path and the blue path. And so depending on what kind of cycle you were coming from in July, what experiences you had, who you were, what kind of energy you were feeling will dictate what path you're walking this month. So step one will be listening to a review of of who you were in July, what choices you were making, what feelings you were having that has gotten you into this place of August and ready to walk into this new manifestation energy. Again, having to try and understand what path you're walking, your highest truth or your old patterns and, and really giving you the tools and the um, knowledge to basically see through the entire month of August so that you can come out the other side manifesting the highest truth and not have a relapse come the end of the year when you might get smacked in the face with all of this again and find out you've been living patterns for the past few months. So step one right here, we're going to review what energies you might be coming from in July to help you pick this path in August. And so take your first deep conscious breath of the day, inhaling in through the nose. And 
exhaling, sinking down into that body, relaxing, releasing, getting really present with what is right now. So what we're going to explore first is the energy from July of Blue Path. So you will, in step one, pick Blue Path and choose to walk Blue Path this August. If in July you had massive openings in your confidence, your voice came online. My I, my energies are out here, so I keep tracking this way now to look at what's happening. So um, it's all about the human you and the voice coming online. You as a human barking, standing up for yourself, using your voice to claim your authority, using your voice for your truth. This is a lot of those um, those people who found their voice to really speak up for human rights and for, for their own rights, for um, advocating for things that they feel passionate about, whether this was playing out on the world stage or if this was playing out in your own backyard, whatever it is, your personal truths, your personal beliefs, or something on the grander, bigger scale here that you felt a need to use your voice, have confidence and pursue and push forward forward using your voice to help propel your human path that which either you feel compelled to stand up and speak for or that which you had to in essence find your voice to claim that truth for other people to see and so again this would be the energy of July what we're doing right now is reading the imprint of what you're carrying into this month this does not mean that this will be the energy that you're carrying forward this is a big big kind of um, one of those things that I still get questions about to this day when you pick your path. Some people don't want to pick a certain path because they don't want to relive what they were reliving in July or the previous month. And that's not how this works. What we're doing right now is getting you grounded into the energy that you were tapped into and living through in July. And what that means is by those choices and that energy that you were playing with, it will create a whole new set of, um, of, of experience it will create a whole new playground for you here in August. So whether you like that energy or not, if it fits who you were and what was in your field in July, then you are walking the blue path. If confidence, if using your voice to speak your truth or to advocate or to convey a message was all about what you were doing in July, then this will be the path you pick. And remember, everything we now read moving forward for what's happening in this manifestation month of August will reflect the new energy and the new experiences that you're going to have. It doesn't have... Um, I should say it has everything to do with confidence, but it doesn't mean that you're going to be walking that same path. You're not going to be in the pattern of July. That's ushering you into a whole new experience level come this August. So that would be blue path, confidence. Now we're going to move into the red path. Take another deep cleansing breath, breathing in through the nose and exhaling out through an opened mouth really getting clear. It's like the coffee beans you have to smell when you're picking colognes or perfume, right? We're taking a cleansing breath, releasing the blue path, and now we're going to reveal the red path and see if maybe it's the red path that you're on because of the energies and the imprints you were dealing with back in July. So if you are on red path, it's because you are obsessing. It was the obsessive mind, the spiraling mind. You were so in your head. Um, your reality was above your shoulders. Literally, you were walking around with a 10 foot, uh, 10 foot, a 10 pound heavy head, which I think the uh, head is about 10 pounds. But this is somebody who their entire reality was being kept up here. Um, a lot of projecting, a lot of trying to understand, a lot of attachment into your future, a lot of trying to control what's coming, a lot of trying to get that foresight, that clarity on what's out here. Um, really, really a hyper third eye shocker, which means you were so far into the future reality. And even, even if it was just for tomorrow, your July was all about trying to set up the chessboard, trying to align those dominoes in the right way so that when everything happened, when you, you know, tap that last domino in the chain, that everything you were seeing ends up going perfectly down the line exactly as you had forecasted it and saw it to be. Um, and so that would be the person who's coming in from July. You would pick the red path if this was your energy. Again, it does not 
mean that this is going to be the same reality that you're living in August. It just means this is the imprint of what your energetic field looked like. These are this is how you were making your decisions. This is all the choices and this is these are the patterns that you were dealing with in July. And because of that hyper third eye chakra pattern, now you're going to have a life experience in August that will read to help you understand how to move forward in the best and um and most aligned way to what those choices and those decisions and those things you were playing with in July now have created for your August routine. So um, that would be the person who picks the red path is somebody who is really, really in their head, trying to understand life, trying to plan for life, trying to really, um, uh, you could even say control, but you know, there was no control. It was, you were trying to establish a sense of control by trying to visualize it. Um, and understand it. Maybe you made a ton of lists. Maybe you were, you know, trying to get really organized, but it stayed up here. Nothing was manifesting. Again, July was a really slow month. It was a really relaxed month. Um, it was a month where we were um, confronting and facing a lot of our um, our truths in a very um, emotional, non-physical way, and really still clicking into alignment, feeling into where we were going, who we are, what we want, what we were doing, um, so that he here come this August, everything could move forward and start manifesting for us. So the red path, you come from July, really obsessed, really head heavy, very, you maybe we're even having migraines, dizziness, you know, all those ascension symptoms that affect the head, um, pressure in the head, you know, um, sleepless nights, right? I know a lot of very sensitive people in July who are having lots of weird sleep disruption patterns. Um, so this would be be the um, indication of somebody who is walking the red path. Again, you do not have to carry this forward. This is just representing the energy you were playing with in July and now what's going to transpire for your path come this August. So I encourage you now to pick your path. Pick just one path. This is step one, aligning yourself to either the red or the blue. I highly encourage you to dive deep now Pick one and stick to it. Really just trust that this is the path you're on. Unless things completely shift and change for you halfway through August, I encourage you to stay on one path. Um, if you review both paths, if you walk both paths, you're taking on double the lessons, double the energy, and it is not double the fun. It is just double the workload that any human should have to have. And I promise you this August starts to speed up like the Energizer Bunny, like rapid fire here. And so the last thing you want is to be carrying in energy um, because you didn't pick a singular path here because you're walking both paths. If you do that, you're going to be a lot more confused than you should be. And this is the month where we really start manifesting. We really start getting to work, um, bringing that human flow back, getting out of these etheric realms, these more sensitive energies, and really getting our hands on this earth and building, um, building that which reflects our truth here. And so uh, again, red path is going to be the obsession, the mind focus, the really heavy head person from July and the blue path is going to be that July person who is using their voice speaking up for themselves or others um, really creating a really strong resonance using the voice of their truth um, from what they were experiencing in July if you stick with me and just continue watching, we'll play the red path. If you want to go right to the blue path, then find this timestamp or find the colored code on the side of the video where it shows up blue, and that will start the blue path reading. So go ahead and either stick with me or jump to the next part of the video and, um, and watch what is awaiting you on your path this manifestation month of August. All right, Red Path, you are here because you have been obsessed. Your mind has been um, overly active, right? You've been really trying to plan, to calculate, to control, to know, 
to get the greater perspective of what's happening and um and and we'll say lacking a little bit of trust right because you've been up here so you've been um avoiding some of those human trust things and really connecting and getting grounded and just trusting that everything is in alignment to the perfection of this moment and so you are walking this red path because you have tried to really understand everything before it's here you're really trying to be psychic about all of this and know what's happening before it comes before this august right because this august is when we've been saying everything's coming in august everything's going to start showing up in august and yet you've really been still trying to control what this is going to be and and paint that picture here so that you feel safer so that you feel more secure as it comes up for you here in this august and so the mastery for you what we're going to review this month is your mastery we're going to review the new beginning and then we're going to review the potential duality and how this happens the mastery is really the um the potential um upgrade to your system right so if you achieve the mastery of this month if you stay really focused on what this mastery is um throughout the month throughout these shifts and changes in your field in your energy field um if you stay aligned to this mastery what's going to happen is you're going to upgrade um your your um experience level here it's like an update to your system it's like uploading new software to the system where everything just seems to work a little bit better. Everything seems to work a little bit faster. And so that's what it means to be aligned to the mastery of the month. And the mastery is the overriding principle that you're going to have experiences with to try and get you to accept live in and understand this mastery at a new level. Um, then in the beginning of the month, right around the tens, from the beginning of the month up until the teens of the month, um, you're going to enter the new beginning. And the new beginning usually gets ushered in by the full moon a few days prior to the full moon as that energy starts to activate for us. Um, and what happens around the new moon, or excuse me, the full moon energy and the new the new beginning is that um there are areas of your life that are illuminated that are reflecting an old pattern that are reflecting things that um that need to switch but it, what it does is it activates you it brings in new energy to help you switch into this next mode this next experience level but what tends to happen on the flip side of that is this full moon will highlight areas of our life that that are maybe not in a alignment to this new activation of energy that we're getting. So we'll review that. And then the last thing we'll review is the duality. And the duality comes in right around the 20s and it comes in around the new moon at the end of the month. And so what happens here is the duality is the test. Um, the, the last energy here comes in as a test to see. It's like almost like the final exam in school. Like, have you really learned the mastery? Have you really been willing to experience and surrender to this path that you're walking this month. And so then the new moon comes in and ushers in this whole new potential, right? Basically saying, if you pass this test and you achieve the mastery of this month, you have a whole new potential to operate within, right? Um, and yet it comes in through duality. And so we'll review what that is. So the first thing we're going to talk about is the mastery. So for you, Red Path, the mastery this month is all about being flexible. And this is all about the foundation you're creating and the passion, the energy that you are bringing into creating this. And so this is really important um, because, you know, you <laughs> And I was saying earlier, don't worry because you're not patterning in, you know, the obsession tendency or that obsessive tendency from July. But here I'd have to say that there is this sliver of um, sliver of old you that is still wanting to be let go of, which is this obsessive tendency to try and um, understand before you really surrender yourself to knowing. And so here in this um, month of August, when everything is about manifestation, everything is about laying the brickwork to reflect everything you've changed into, right? Your, your um, caterpillar to butterfly moment, everything you've transformed your life to be. And even if you don't feel like you've had massive transformation lately, 
It's really about the process you've had to go through of, of understanding the self more fully. I don't care who you are, where you are in life, everybody has had to go through some kind of metamorphosis to get here to August. And it started in January. Um, for those of you who are really sensitive to it, it, it was ushered in right at the beginning of this year. Um, but for, for the massive or majority, the, the major part of our collective, it, it hit right, and especially for North America, it hit right around the coronavirus. Whenever the coronavirus hit your town, whenever the coronavirus really shut down things in your area, for North America, you know, it was right around the March was the big real um, lockdown for everybody. So depending on where you live in the world, where this hit you, when it hit you, that's really when the deep dive self-reflective metamorphosis started to come to light. And you were dealing with old self, old patterns, lots of dysfunction within the self that had to let go of things that were no longer working and figure out a new way of operating within this reality, this next phase of energy. And so for you, this month of August, the mastery is about being flexible. And so there is this tendency for you to want to control, to want to know before you totally let go and surrender. And I would say to you, up until this point, if you look back, hindsight, right? Hindsight, it's showing you that yes, the ride has been bumpy. Yes, there have been things that have been crazy and out of control and a bit ridiculous. But too, when you look back, wouldn't you say that a lot of this has been really perfectly aligned to the highest and greatest outcome for you to be sitting here right now enjoying the sense of of um, truth that you have about yourself or about your path or about you know relationships or about career or about where you're moving to right the the future projection of your life right wouldn't you say you feel so clicked in now to a deeper level of knowing um, that just feels really empowered and so if that is your truth and and if it's not let's just hope that that's exactly what's getting ushered in you know we're in a gateway here between the end of June and November where if you don't know your truth yet is gonna smack you in the face some point during these mirrors that we have in the you know end of June and the beginning or the beginning of November you are gonna get your truth reflected to you and if you avoid it avoid it avoid it um, it will get smacked in your face come November um, and we're hoping to get you to not get that big smack or spiritual kick in the butt um, but so what we're doing is trying to slowly integrate and remind you that you've been experiencing this along the way so you don't have a complete breakdown you know battle come November um, and so here in August right July was about sensing into it feeling into it and that's where you were feeling into it but you would take it back up to the analytical and try and analyze it instead of just staying in the flow of the feeling and being really vulnerable and allowing all of this to happen you would then jump up here and try and assess analyze control manipulate um, you know plan and so um, um, for you, this mastery this month, it is all about finding flexibility. And this is flexibility in a very interesting and, and new way for you. The flexibility comes in where it's your passion. Again, these are those those things that really um, inspire you. It's, it's the... It's the things in life that bring a smile to your face. It's when you think about it, if you don't feel excited, if you don't feel creative, if you don't feel engaged, if you don't feel like you have the energy to do it, if it slows you down, it is not aligned to your passion. It is not aligned to this energy that's going to allow things to manifest. And so really for you, the mastery of this month is about getting you back into that flow of saying yes and putting energy towards doing things that inspire you, that make you feel creative, that really just get you in that place of ultimate um, passion, cultivation, creativity. It's, it's the artist energy, right? It's this person who just feels so inspired that they're up all hours of the night creating whatever it is. And, um, and so whatever that is for you, whatever this is, this energy is that is coming in for you, whatever has been bringing a smile to your face, making you feel so excited. I have a sister who is desperate to get an RV because her schools in California have closed down for the year and she wants to do a 
road trip homeschool. This brings a smile to her face, right? So this is the passion. This is the creative energy. It's hitting all of us differently. Whatever has been happening in our field that's getting us to this point, this is what we need to stay aligned to. And for Red Path this month, as long as it's bringing a smile to your face, as long as you can tangibly feel the energy, you are meant to put focus and energy into this to make it be your foundation. This is the ultimate right um, transition from July where you were supposed to be vulnerable and feeling and then you take it back up to the sensory and the analytical and the logical and the rational. And so now what, what Divine is saying for you is, okay, children sit down it's time and we're gonna make this even simpler only do the things that make you feel happy that bring you joy right and if you do the things that don't make you happy don't bring you joy we're going to have you expend a lot of energy and it's not even going to manifest and so this is like kindergarten 101 mastery energy here um i feel like it's you know i'm going to keep the kindergarten theme now and talk to the little children that's what it feels like it feels like you know red path it's you know not in a condescending way i'm sorry my might sound condescending there but it's a beautiful back to basics it's like again it's the child it's the inner child archetype it's the inner child energy you know um, when you were young um, and your parents gave you a whole list of things okay you have to do this this and this to be able to get two hours of playing outside or going to the pool or going on your electronic or whatever it was and the things that they gave you that you didn't want you would like ah, throw a tantrum over for like an hour where you could have just done that 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 exercise and gone and swept out the garage or something and yet you would sit there and throw a tantrum for an hour because you just knew it wasn't your energy and you just ah. so that's the energy we're trying to get you back into it's real when something's tearing at your soul like that where it just feels like this is not for me I can't do this I don't want to do this you got to let it go and um, and there are human things that have to be taken care of and that we know is a part of the routine especially if you are here a guardian of other people having to take care of other people um, yes there are certain things that you are required to do as a human but this is the authentic expression of self there let's just say chalk it up to eight hours a day maybe that you have human obligation there are still at least eight other hours of the day that you get to decide where that energy is being spent and so this month of August in this month of manifestation what you put energy into and and um not only what you put energy into, but the energy itself that you're putting into that is going to dictate what kind of a reality you have. Again, this is the beginning of the next 30 year cycle. If you're putting this, I don't want to do it energy into things you don't want to do, that's going to be your next 30 years. Do you really want that? Is that really what you want to pattern for yourself? Or do you want to wait for the good flows of excitement? exciting energy to come in and then when that's here make that be what you build make that be what you put your energy towards so this month it's all about being flexible it's finding the flexibility um, between the human obligations that you have to do because you are human and you have to sustain this but then also being in the flow to feel when things are shifting feel when there's new energy coming in saying yes to things you love saying no to things that do not excite you and do do not tickle you like an you know like that little child like energy that we want to bring forth all right so that is your mastery so the more you can remember that that's your mantra red path for um, this month it's being flexible it's being flexible but when you're given moments and opportunities always choose that with which makes you happy which makes you filled with joy which brings you passion and excitement um, and to say no to the things that do not bring that into your reality. And when you say no, there will be another opportunity to bring something in that is going to be exciting and, um, and, you know, and bring that childlike excitement back. 
So then we're going to go into your new beginning around the full moon. So the new beginning around the full moon comes in and it's denial energy. This is the complete opposite of what got you here from July is the hypo third eye chakra. So what's going to happen is right around this full moon, you are going to be shifting into this really authentic vibration, right? Holding on to the flexibility of your mastery, which means you're only saying yes and only welcoming into your path things that really feel good. So what's going to happen is this activation and new energy, it's going to come in at the full moon and it's going to make you start to question if this is really a sustainable way of living. You have been somebody who's put a lot of energy into everything. You probably do everything. You can do everything. Um, you probably have been very independent and had to do a lot of all of these things for yourself all the time. And so you typically say yes to everything, maybe because it's all on your shoulders or maybe because you just it's easy for you but you're a person who really um, understands the big picture and knows all the pieces of the puzzle and so when things come in you just say yes you do it no matter if it feels good to you um, or if it doesn't because you understand you you can perceive what needs to be done and so you will just do it um, whether it, it feels right or not you will come into this analytical headspace the very human in logical headspace and you'll say, well, it just needs to get done, so I'm going to do it. And you're going to disconnect and, and deny that if you actually feel into if this is right for me or not. Um, and so you're going to get into this old trap, this old pattern of coming back into the logical side of yourself. And so this full moon energy, what it comes in to do is it comes in to be this first preliminary test for you, um, where typically the test comes in at the end of the month. This one here has you denying um, that, that what what you've stepped into in August could really unfold in the clearest, highest, most aligned way for you because it feels a bit out of the normal routine. Um, I, I get here that this is the person who... Um, who thinks the more I do, the more I get done, the more projects I put out there, the more I complete, um, you know, the more I'm gonna get. Um, and and this is a shift in how you're starting needing, and I don't like to say the word need, but this is a big shift for you energetically in, in you don't have to constantly be spinning your wheels because when you spin, 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 um, you know, yes, you might check a lot of things off, off the list, but how many of those things are actually going to be energetically aligned to manifest in the highest, most aligned way to you? I have this thing in my mind right now about what they say about entrepreneurs and how an entrepreneur can have 20 ideas and that's their their big pitfall is because they're so good at having ideas and putting energy into all of it, but they don't just focus on the one that's that's exciting, that's passionate, that feels right in that moment because they're constantly up here and can and can think so much and do so much and process so much. They can do it all. And so that that becomes the pitfall is that just because you can do everything does not mean you should. Um, and so again, back to your mastery, it's all about this flexibility. It's about remaining clued into the passion. Where is that tangible feeling energy? Where does it feel right? Where are you excited? Again, we're looking for high vibrational feelings right now um, for you because those high energy feelings, that joy, ecstasy, passion, creativity, you know, um, uh, enriching, you know, experiences, all of those things are going to be th the things that are really heavily weighted to manifest your greatest potential potential here. Again, August is all about spending a lot of energy, but for you, it's in the right place. And so you, in this beginning of the month, the um, the energy that comes in is this denial. It's a pattern of your past that's going to come right back in in the beginning of the month um, around the full moon. 
and it's going to start to illuminate the shadow side of you and the side of you that's questioning that's saying can I really operate like this this feels a bit inauthentic to my natural nature you know I, I I have so much energy right now I should be spending it you know on every idea every thought everything that comes into my field is opportunities I should I have so much energy I need to release this energy and, and create and do and move forward um, and this is going to be the downfall so the big reminder right around the full moon for you is going to be watching for this past pattern um, of of what you think is this um, ability per- to perceive and see and sense and then to put energy, spend energy in, in creating it all. That is a pattern from the past that's going to come up and it comes up real early in the month to test you. And it's going to basically create this denial energy where if I can think all of this and I'm being offered all these old past opportunities, should I really be doing it? And the answer for you is, well, how do you feel about it? Does that make you feel good? Does that bring you joy? Does that, and something just popped into my head, an opportunity that I'm being offered, and the answer is no. Yet I feel like I should do it, but the answer is no. And so energetically, if you say no to some of these things that don't feel right, then you are putting more energy into the potential of what does feel right. And it might not come today. And that's the crazy switch of energy here. There might be moments in between these surges of energy where you don't feel anything is right and you don't know what to do with your energy and that is what we're looking for I want (laughs) to I want to give an example but I think it's a little too uh um it's not it's not uh, it's not child approved. So, you know, where in your life when energy builds, anticipation builds, it's just, it gets exciting and exciting. And this swell of energy becomes so big. Imagine the payoff there. If you can hold that energy, let it build, right? So many times we get these little spurts of energy and we spend it on things that we don't enjoy. We spend it out, out in our reality on things that we're not really enjoying or it doesn't bring us joy or we're just doing it to do it and that's a release of this energy into places that aren't serving your highest greatest good what if when you got that surge of energy and nothing felt right if you kept it and it might be with you for 10 hours for 24 hours for 48 hours until oh my god this feels good and then you get to spend even more energy on that one thing it becomes that much more valuable to manifest in a really aligned way to your highest truth here and so that's what what we're looking for for you it's really trusting and not getting into these patterns of denial um, that are you know connected to your past how you used to do it how it always worked for you really you're switching into more of feeling into these realities feeling into what's happening um, and then putting your energy forward there so the last one for you is going to be the duality of the month which comes in around the new moon and um and here you're manifesting an energy of um of the it's the re it's realistic energy basically it's about being the realist here which is all about your being so present um that that the human is affected and everything becomes um, the next reality and so you're manifesting this potential to really then see the fruits of your labor to be in the moment to receive um, the validation that serves the human journey and again I think this is what got you here in July it was all about obsessing because nothing was a hundred percent here there were pieces of it you can see and feel um, but you know but but the the truth of of what you've been aligning to has yet to be seen right and so here at the end of the month um the uh, new moon brings in this this shift for you this next gift where it's really aligning you um to be open to manifest a reality where in the present moment you can see and be um 
in a foundation and um, in your kind of human reality where things are real and things are showing up and things are starting to happen. So for you, you know, if you stick with the mastery, which is this being flexible, really knowing how to feel into things um, and, and then only those things that you feel into become a part of your foundation and you give real energy to. Um, and then to avoid the denial of the, you know, what happens around the beginning of the month with the full moon, um, to to um, recognize that your mind is going to try and talk you out of um, slowing down a little bit to feel into things because again the energy of August is ramping up you're going to have so much energy and there's going to be so much movement but what you're going to do is have this test where it's like are you really ready to only give your energy to things that are going to serve your truth and where you're moving. Because if you give your energy to things outside of you that are not of your highest truth, those are gonna be the things that manifest and you're gonna lose sense of what you're really here to create and build. Um, so you're, it's interesting because this month you flip. Typically the duality comes in at the end of the month. You're getting it real quick in the beginning of the month. You're getting a real quick snap, you know, that says, are you really ready to be flexible and only do what feels right and is aligned to your highest truth here? And then at the end of the month, um, in the new moon energy, you really usher in um, the reality. And it's interesting, I guess this is where the duality comes in, because if you've been aligned to the flexible energy and only putting, um, creating what serves your highest purpose, then um, at the end of the month, you're going to start manifesting a reality, you know, a realistic vision of what you've been putting energy into. But if you've been putting energy into the wrong things, here you go, you're going to manifest that reality. And that takes us back to August where we were telling you it's, it's August is about this, um, you know, well, July was really about, you know, who am I? What am I? The, almost the confusion of, I know who I am. I think I know what my purpose and my truth is. And yet there are still shadows of my past self that are coming up. And, and I'm hoping I'm making the right decision. I hope I'm moving forward in the way that's aligned to my highest truth and that's not aligned to my shadow. Yet these things are still so, so very similar that it's hard to see what in our path is our old self, our shadow, and what in our path is our new highest purpose and truth. And so this is the reality that kind of is, we're, we're still kind of stuck between it. Are you making choices aligned to your highest belief system and your highest truth? Or are you making choices based off of the old belief system and the old truths? And so, you know, this is, it's a, it's a fine line you're walking and that's really where for you, the goal is if you feel it, if you can actually feel passion towards what you're creating this month and what you're choosing to give energy um, to and where you're spending your energy every single day in August, if that's what you're doing, then come the end of August at the duality point in the month in the new uh, the new moon, um, you will be manifesting the the first vision of this reality that's going to show you exactly if it was the shadow side or the new purpose that you were following. And so... Um, I know I switched that a little bit there, but basically the end of the month becomes your realistic moment where you get to see in your physical reality what version of you you had been following and making choices for. And again, I've already repeated it a hundred times, but you're either going to deny that that this is your highest truth and you're going to go into old patterns and start to manifest the shadow around the full moon in the beginning of the month, or the denial is going to come up. You're going to realize everything's trying to make you spin your wheels without feeling it and you're going to get back into that feeling body you're going to stay flexible you're going to come and go with the flows of energy of what feels right and then that will in essence bring forth the truest um, reality which is aligned to the purpose here at the end of the month so my friends on um, red path I encourage you to stay really sensitive to stay very emotional and connected to those emotions um, it's going to serve you and serve your path moving forward and um, if you're not a member I um, offer a free membership on the chakra deck app it helps you to customize these monthly readings and so when you pick the red or blue path when you 
log in, all of the videos for this month that populate for the blue path will come right to you in that monthly awareness. You can also pull the daily um, forecasting cards and see what's happening and transitioning for your energy daily here in this manifestation month of August. You can easily access all of that by downloading the free Chakra Deck app. Um, that app will give you all of the links to get into the membership site as well as some other fun tools um, and the links to get onto our High Vibe Live community that we do at the beginning of each month. Um, so there's a lot there for you to play with. And then if you want to support, please do. There is so much amazing content when you become a paid member on the Chakra Deck app. And you can um, access all of that again from the app and then register into the membership site. Um, or you can just go right on to the website um, and sign up as a member and access the entire course database, all the certification processes, meditations, tools, everything to help you on this fantastic journey. So thank you, uh, Red Path, and really stay sensitive. It's going to be a glorious month when you just trust your feelings. If what you seek is seeking you, then what are you looking for? The part of you that wants to expand, it wants to grow, and it wants to feel much better than it already does. This membership program offers courses to change your reactions and tools to expand your perspective. They're tools. They're just trying to amplify what's already there, make you a better version of self. This is the first time I felt full in my entire life. Guided meditations and live Welcome interactions everybody. will bring validation. Going through these rebirths or this evolution, this form of change, this shift, it is the most exciting part. Explore your potential, embrace your gifts, and empower your life. Okay, Blue Path, so let's talk about you. You are here because of confidence. So that's great. You've been using your voice. You've either, um, right, your bark, your bark was really loud in July. You, you found that voice, spoke that truth. You were an advocate for yourself or for other people, and it was glorious. Um, so what are you um, ushering in, and what is going to happen for you this month? So what we're going to review is the mastery of the month, the new beginning, and the duality. And what happens here throughout the month is the the mastery is the big picture. The mastery is really what um, the goal is. It's energetically what you're aligning to. Um, when you um, get through the end of this month and have aligned yourself to the mastery and passed all the tests, um, really learned and, and understood what this mastery meant at this new level that you come into this month at, um, what's going to happen is there's going to be a complete vibrational shift within you that aligns you to a new phase, a new understanding of yourself and like we said this entire year from January all the way up into this point but really from July to November you are in this kind of mirror world right your old self and your new self are reflecting hardcore for you right now and it's really who are you going to be who are you going to be and um and at this point you should really have really strong inclinations and feelings as to who you are what's your highest and greatest truth what's your purpose and if you don't have these feelings these inclinations you're gonna get your butt kicked with it come November um, but right now between January and November you're in this mirror reality where the light and the dark the good and the bad right the shadow and and the and the new self are going to be um, daily figuring out who am I what am I what's old what's new and again all of this is you. All of this is perfect. All of this is right. But what's happening between these mirrors of January and November is everything is being kind of um, uh, fractaled. Everything's being spit, split up into these um, versions of yourself so that your entire essence is being kind of broken down so you can decide the truth of you moving forward and the highest truth of you moving forward. And so even if you believe um, in essence, you know exactly who you are right now. Honestly, there's still more to come. And uh, case in point, what's happening for your mastery this month? So hunker down because I know those of you who picked this are going to be like in denial instantly when I tell you what your mastery is. You're going to be like, 
Nope, I've already learned that and I tell you, you are in denial, my friend. So buckle up because um, there is more that you're going to learn about yourself this month. I know you're coming in on a high and that is gorgeous. It's beautiful. It's exactly what was needed to get you to start speaking up for your truth or for other people's truths, which in essence helps you to understand more of your truth. So the mastery for you, it's all about guilt energy. And you say, how is that a mastery? Well, let me tell you. So um, the guilt energy comes in to let you know in your human to human contact where there are still cords that you allow to be connected to you. And I can hear all your voices right now um, in my head. It's uh, honestly, it's a, it's a bit irritating. Please quiet down because let me just get through this. There's too many of you to answer right now. So the guilt energy and the mastery of the month, um, it's all about really reclaiming, um, reclaiming the identity but it's coming from the inside not outside so here's what's been happening to you and let me just um, help you see how this is a mastery moment for you and how this will be what you're walking the entire month of August um, the mastery comes in where uh, a lot of what you have um, learned and claimed and discovered about yourself has very recently been incited by people outside of you um, whether it's you know humanity in a whole if it's one-on-one -on -one, um, people outside of you questioning you questioning bigger world concepts questioning ideals questioning truths questioning beliefs questioning things about how, who you are what you do how you speak how you spend your energy right and so there have been people outside of you um, that have really tugged on these cords or you've seen things or had to engage with people that are in complete opposition to your truths and so this has been an outside in trigger and so the thing the interesting pattern that's been happening for you is when this happens you actually because it's an outside in trigger it does affect you and so the mastery for you this month is really to understand where these cords um of what we're going to call just um self-approval, self-actualization, validation from outside sources. And I can still hear you guys saying, I've already learned this, but no, 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 no. This is still coming in very minutely. You might have learned this big picture, but there are, this is your this is the month where you start manifesting a lot of this truth into your reality. And so if you think you've done the work here, I applaud you and I'll tell you 100% you've done the work over and over and over. But there is still more work to be done. And where this work is coming in, it's about now fine-tuning this process. Um, what's happening for you is this energy is shifting from an outside trigger that stimulates you to either fight back, speak your truth, claim something new, say something that helps people to see or understand your truth, your highest belief, all of these things. What's happening is instead of that pattern happening where something outside of you triggers and then there's a whole moment of having to click in and then roar or whatever this confidence, the lioness, the lion that comes out, right? Because let me just show you. It's my confidence card. Again, I'm reading all these cards. So this is the lion card. It's all about confidence for you guys. You know, that's what you came into this month with. That's the energy you entered this month with. It's the lion energy. And so, and we're also here in August. How beautiful. Um, and so now as you walk with the mastery of this month, what's really happening for you is you're fine tuning this process. Um, you have been triggered so much by these outside forces that have gotten you to roar, to speak your truth, to claim it, right? That, um, that now what's happening is this guilt trigger is still, it's still what you're mastering. And so there are fine tuning cords now that are happening. And I don't think it, you know, for some of you, it might still be really big. There still might be people who come in who want to tell you, um, you know, certain things that are in complete opposition to what you're speaking about or what your truth is here that make you almost feel guilty 
guilty in the moment, like, oh, you know, should, should I say something different? Should I have said it that way? Should I have spoken that much truth? Should I have been that real, you know, um, where you go into these moments of guilt, guilting yourself. And so this now is going to be the ever present energy that you're walking with guilt energy. Okay. And why this is happening for you is because there are still areas um, because I feel like your voice is probably getting louder, your opinions are getting stronger, more ingrained, right? You have identified your truth and you are speaking it. And so here, as this month gets deeper, um, as you enter more and more of the mastery, there are going to be these little cords that are plucked outside of you that get you instantly to either feel guilty because of what you said, how you said it, who you said it to, whatever it was, or it's going to be an instant pluck where it hits you and you feel guilty. Was I supposed to do that? Should I have done this? Was this really true? And so these little tiny cords now are going to be plucking and constantly plucking and plucking and plucking. I see like the violin strings, you know, of the matrix just constantly harmonizing. And this is what it's doing. All of these little guilt triggers, the more you can be in guilt this month, the better off you're going to be. The more you can feel guilty, the more people People can make you feel guilty. Every time you feel guilt, it's another string being plucked of this matrix. And what happens when all these strings get plucked? They're trying to find harmony. They're trying to bring everything into resonance, everything into balance. And that's what's happening for you. You are being fine-tuned on such a minute level now that all of these chords that are still a little out of tune are being plucked and plucked and plucked until that tune is what you pick up on and you go, ooh, that didn't feel right. That didn't sound right. This wasn't right. And so you're really, it's like that little micro adjustment and you click in a little bit more. And so this is really helping you. It's helping your message. It's just, think about it as this is the last this is the last big tuning process that's happening before you are just launched out as the truth of yourself, okay? And so um, trust in the guilt. Ask for the guilt. Ask to feel the guilt. No matter how big, how strong, or how minute it is, ask to feel this guilt as strongly and intensely and over and over and over wherever this needs to harmonize more within your field. This is your mastery. Trust it. Love it, right? How often are you told to love a dense emotion, right? But love it. Again, the more you can swing into these extremes here, the stronger your message, the stronger your truth and your knowing in yourself and your purpose is going to be. And so please love, love these little tiny little triggers that come up over and over and over and over and, and, and be aware of them. Um, because as they do, it's just going to refine you and your message about your purpose, your truth that much more. Okay, so that's the mastery. That's your entire month. That is the goal for you is to trust in all of this. To trust that density can be the highest form of alignment, right? That that as long as you don't get trapped in the guilt and surrender your truth, right? So what happens with guilt is tend, uh, the tendency of guilt triggers. People guilt you to take your power. And it's a the biggest, easiest manipulation technique for energy, um, for what people call energy vampires or people who are energetically manipulative, um, who dominate, overpower with their energy. Um, it's through guilt. Um, they're going to make you feel less than they're going to make you question your authenticity. And how do they do that? They guilt trip you in one way, shape or form. They're going to make you feel guilty about yourself. And this is the, te this is the test you've passed. This is where I could hear all your voices. I know that's what you've passed. You know, who you are. I'm not saying you don't know who you are. Now the goal for you is to have these guilt strings being plucked and to look at the people who are plucking them, laugh hysterically at them, not to their face, right? Because we don't want you to get physically assaulted here. Um, but to understand that, whoa, look at them trying to take that power again. Nope. <laughs> and, and, but what that does is it also allows you to click in in the most minute level to their energy. They're in your field for a reason, my friend. And so you can't just cut them off and say, nope, they're low. They're too low. They don't understand me. They don't get me. I'm going to cut you out of my reality. That's not how it works. If somebody's here engaging with you, it's because they have something to teach you. Um, and so 
it's not as if at this point you could lose your truth, lose your, your power here, um, because that's something you've dealt with before. But these little guilt triggers are going to show you how to understand the community that you're a part of and to understand how your message is here to serve them, how who you are is here to serve them, how all of these things are in complete um, unity together. And so this is your fine tuning process. Again, this is, I see like a big or a symphony, a big orchestra, and all of the instruments are, are going through their, you know, tuning, their fine tuning at that last moment, and then it goes silent. And then you know, the whole symphony starts and they're all in perfect harmony together. And so this is that moment right before the lights cut out and then the lights come back on and the entire symphony starts. It's like, this is where everything is chiming in at weird resonance, weird vibrations, weird things are coming up. Um, it's the last tuning process before the big reveal. Um, so now we're going to get into your, um, new beginning, which happens right around the beginning of the month. I always say, look for it right around the full moon at the beginning of the month. That's when the energy is going to be most predominant in your field. And then, um, and then it really does go through for me, the very beginning of the month, all the way to the teens of the month. That's when all of this new energy, the activation, the new beginning is an activation of energy that's going to hit you. Um, and so it's interesting though, because the Full moon will illuminate the parts of your path where things um, are still in resistance to your mastery, right? To this guilt, these guilt triggers, or to maybe who you're connected to in life and how they're guilting you, right? Or all, or, or whatever it is that needs illumination within the mastery of the path that you're walking. And so the new beginning for you is you are manifesting the ultimate release. So it's really interesting here. Um, I'm gonna tell you that this is considered the dark night of the soul. <laughs> You thought you were picking the good path here, right? No, I'm kidding. Um, so the, I shouldn't say the good path, the easy path. Um, so <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's going to be something big. Um, this is typically an energetic shift that happens um, where, again, I was talking about how I see the energy of what we're walking through. Um, the energy of what we're walking through, to me, you're in a mirror reality right now. And the mirror reality, think about it when they show you in a fun house with all the mirrors and it's like you see 100 versions of yourself. This is what's happening. You literally have been fractaled into 100 different versions of yourself um, starting July, really coming in crazy here in August. It will kick you in the butt here come August if you haven't claimed that one mirror that's truly you, right? So everything that's happened from, from um, you know, astrology would say July to November, but really started ushering in this January and then hugely when um, the coronavirus hit for all of us, you know, was the real deep inward journey that we went on to basically pull out all of these fractal versions of ourselves, all these mirror images of ourselves. And what we're doing now is trying to smash the mirrors that don't work and we're only allowing the mirrors that are our authentic truth to survive, right? That's literally the pocket of reality we're in between between this July, um, excuse me, the beginning of July and November. Um, and so really there's going to be something for you that feels like it's going to be illuminated around the full moon. So I'd circle that around your calendar and really, you know, those 72 hours, the day before, the day of, and the day after of the full moon, who's showing up in your life, what's happening, what energy are you processing, what's going on in your mind, what's going on in your emotions, what's going on in your physical reality. I'm not sure where it's going to hit. I feel it. Like, yeah, I don't even know. I don't know. I feel like it's more energetic, but um, that's just because you're dealing with the emotional body, guilt, all of these things. But it could show up either mind, um, body, or or emotions here. And so what that means is, um, you know, what are you thinking? What are you feeling? And what's happening? you know, the day before, the day of, and the day after the full moon, um, because I feel like whatever was happening to you in, in any of those bodies, um, physical, emotional, mental, um, that is going to be the ultimate release. There's going to be something, one of those mirrors is going to have to break. Um, and there's going to be something, and it might be outside of you. It might be a person, you know, it might be a person shattering and leaving your field that then reflects back on you and you almost have this, oh my gosh, wow, big, huge moment of 
of having to do another self-reflecting and, uh, you know, analysis of w- what was that, you know, maybe somebody cuts ties with you and whoa, you know, okay, interesting. And, and it makes you have to do a self check-in, you know, um, there's going to be something that stops you in the tracks. And I have to tell you, this is the highest, um, level of release of the, what we call the low self, the human. Um, this is a dark night of the soul. This is a massive release. Archangel Uriel comes in for this. So if this is something that, um, feels too much for you, or it feels hard, you can always call on the angelic, um, guide of Uriel to come in and assist you with this but this is always having a dark episode to bring more of the light of the soul home into into being into acknowledgement into recognition and so again just back to the mirror analogy I really feel like there is one of these million mirrors that are surrounding you right now and reflecting different different parts of your journey um, I feel like the full moon's going to illuminate one of these mirrors. And in that mirror, there's also the experience of that version of you, whether it's people, whether it's energy, whether it's physical situations that is going to have to crash, shatter and break down so that that is no longer a part of what you carry forward. Um, and so, um, you know, it doesn't, I know I'm explaining it really traumatically here. It doesn't have to be earth shaking for a lot of you. I'm sure it's just going to be, a weird, interesting split. It's going to feel like a fracture. It's going to feel like something shattered. Like, you know, when you drop a mirror and you go, you know, but then it's okay, right? You go right back into it and just clean it up, but it startles you to the core. That's the energy I feel like comes in here. It's like one second things are normal. You drop the mirror and everything shatters for a minute and it catches you off guard. But then the next second, everything's normal again. That's how I feel like this release is going to come in. You know, it's not like you're going to be, you know, out for a week, you know, questioning life, questioning who you are, going through like that, that first, you know, kundalini awakening or that first massive like um, energetic release. It doesn't have to hit you that hard. Um, unless you want it to, unless it's that, that shaking. But I really feel like a lot of you on this path have done a lot of the work. You know who you are. So this is just going to be a real quick shatter, release, reset, and go. <laughs> so um, you guys are on the path. Uh, so that's your full moon. Um, and that is the activation coming in. This is a new energy. It has to shatter in order for the, um, the soul light to come in more fully. And that's your activation happening at the new moon. Oh, excuse me. New energy of the full moon. Okay. So at the end of the month, you come into the duality. And so this is always so interesting when this happens. So your duality at the end of the month is, um, is it's a, it's a question of your truth and so um again what we said is this month you know you've been fighting the good fight and i say that as lovingly i don't think any of you well maybe some of you are advocates and fighters but it's not as if that's the energy i'm not talking a very physical energy i'm talking about fighting for your truth fighting for the the highest greatest truth of all you know it's it's fighting for what is at your heart and that's it you're warriors of the heart this path okay so you're fighting for your heart and whatever is in your heart so let's say it that way that feels better so what's going to happen at the end of the month the duality at the new moon remember the new moon brings in this new wave of energy if you've stuck with the mastery which for you is being a you know being tuned fine tuned by the guilt all month long you're surrendering yourself to this path and then the full moon having that shatter happen where you let go of another another version of self that just needed to to be released um so that the truest part of you can shine so here at the end of the month we get high self coming in and high self represents the duality and so for you the new moon represents the high self energy it's aligning to the truth of who you are in connection to this human collective and 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 the truth of you, your purpose, your divine essence shining. And yet this is the duality. And so at the end of the month, if you are in any state of questioning this, questioning who you are, questioning what you're fighting for, again, from the heart, questioning any of it, um, you are in the old pattern. You are you are not yet 100% ready to embody the one mirror. And I will tell you that um, you know, 
uh, astrologically were given until November to embody the one mirror. Um, and all the way up until then, it's just keep shattering the ones that don't work. Shatter the shadows, shatter the, <laughs> shatter the shadows. Say that 10 times fast. Um, and so, you know, I don't want it to sound like if you do question something at the end of this month, that that you're off path because again you know we've got time here we've got time this whole this whole phase is about really the embodiment of our highest greatest truth and trusting it completely um but really at the end of the month if you find yourself questioning the path you're on questioning the voice questioning any of this um then then um you know, you have the potential by the end of the month to really be in full trust of who you are. And so if you are not in full trust of who you are, I just want you to know that this is the test. This is another test. Um, and whether you pass or fail, it does not matter. Again, it's not an epic 30 year cycle you're going to be repatterned onto. Again, we're day by day here until the end of the year. So don't worry about it. But it's really, you have the potential to really be locked into your highest truth here, to be in connection to your, your high self, um, that which is the divinity of what's leading you here in this human journey. And so um, to just be in that knowing, that space, um, because, you know, come the end of the month, there might be, again, it's a test. The end of the month is the test. The new energy of the new moon ushers in um, the potential of a new, a new phase. And will you choose to activate into that new phase of truly trusting everything you've gone through this August and in really foundationally grounding the self, the purpose here, right? Because there's so much energy for you to build the found you this month, all the energy behind you is focused on you and what you're advocating for, what that fight of your heart is all about. Um, and so it's really your highest potential is to be in a complete alignment with high self and who you are in that purpose. Um, and so again, if you're disconnected from it, not, not, not getting down on yourself, but just knowing that um, that's your potential. That's your great potential. So um, Blue Path, I am so excited for you. Remember, you are an orchestra that is about ready to go live, but everything this month is still still finding its harmony. So trust that. Be in the weird notes and really clue in to those weird feelings, those weird notes, those weird vibes you get from people, situations, sounds, things, words, um, because everything that triggers you a little bit you know just makes you your inner ear kind of go wait what um like it's tuning it's trying to find harmony it's trying to find resonance but it's a little out of balance these are the things that are really helping you to clear your path this month so um if you're not already a member please join the chakra membership um we offer a free level but love the support of those of you who want to support and pay for the extra content for the meditations the courses the certifications all the live interaction um, we really do value every single person there. And so there's so much for the free as well as the paid to explore and experience. Um, if you have not yet downloaded the Chakra Deck app, please do that. It's again free and has easy um, access points to the membership site to some of our free live um, high vibe meetings um, that we do at the beginning of each month, as well as just other access to um, daily readings and the monthly awareness. So um, please join up, sign up, and, um, and stay connected. We really love the community here. So with so much light and love, Blue Path, for your journey ahead. If what you seek is seeking you, then what are you looking for? The part of you that wants to expand, it wants to grow, and it wants to feel much better than it already does. This membership program offers courses to change your reactions and tools to expand your perspective. They're tools. They're just trying to amplify what's already there, make you a better version of self. This is the first time I felt full in my entire life. Guided meditations and live Welcome, interactions everybody. will bring validation. Going through these rebirths or this evolution, this form of change, this shift, it is the most exciting part. Explore your potential, embrace your gifts, and empower your life.